Hi guys, what's up? In this video, we will deal with meteorology in a different manner. The second layer above the troposphere is called tropopause. Sunlight, which comes from the sun, reaches the surface of the Earth at the equator much more directly than it does at the poles. Masses of cold air in contact with the poles, masses of hot air in contact with the equator. This is going to generate a movement. This is going to generate wind. It is exactly this difference in temperatures between the air that is on top of the oceans to the difference of temperature for the air that is on top of the continents. This difference generates the sea breeze during the day. The air moves from the colder region to the warmer region close to the ground. Was water in the vapor state invisible? which for some reason became visible and became liquid. It, the outer walls of the glass begin to get wet and immediately after the gas state it became that smoke, that white smoke. A surface was exposed to sunlight since it's a clock in the morning, since sunrise, it's going to have a good potential for generation of thermals. Let us pretend there is no wind on this day and a cumulus is formed and the sun is straight up, uh, at 90 degrees straight up from the soil. This cumulus is formed and with its formation, it happened that it created a shade for the region, the surface that was generating it, that was generating its thermal. In another situation where we have a cumulus and the sun is straight up, but a windy day, we know that on windy days, thermals derive up a bit of moisture upwards, but the condensation does not occur. That is, we have thermals, but we don't have cumulus.